I, I just wonder what is Ted Cruz like? It, did they expect Ted to go there with like a blowtorch and start defrosting all of the pipelines? Conservative commentator Ben Shapiro defended Ted Cruz's trip to Cancun during the Texas winter crisis because, of course, he did. Now, this clip is just. It's a perfect example of what Ben Shapiro does. Talks really fast, lies the entire time, creates straw men the entire time to attempt to make an argument. So I'm going to break this down piece by piece, but check out uh, what he had to say here defending Ted Cruz. And meanwhile, the media are going nuts today because Ted Cruz apparently is in Cancun. Now, I will admit that this is bad optics. Of course, it's bad optics. Whenever there's a crisis, if you are seen to be having any sort of good time because our politics are incredibly stupid, this means that you're responsible for the crisis. Everything in politics is performative right now. Members of Congress don't do anything for a living. All they do is gather once every so often to spend too much of your money. And so everything becomes performative. Right? The reason that AOC is a star is because she goes to immigration facilities and takes photo shoots outside immigration facilities being emotional in response to what is going on apparently inside the immigration facilities. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, the more performative you are in politics, the better you do these days. That is just the reality of the situation. So I get that it's bad optics for Ted Cruz to take his family on vacation to Cancun right now. It even sounds bad. But let's be real about this for just one second. This is one of the stupidest aspects of our politics. Like, what exactly? It's not a real-time crisis that Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, can do anything about. Because the senator from Texas is, in fact, in the United States Senate. He's a federal officer, right? He's a federal elected official. This is up to the mayor of Houston and like the governor of Texas and all the people who are state level officials. And also, I, I just wonder what is Ted Cruz like? It, did they expect Ted to go there with like a blowtorch and start defrosting all of the pipelines? He can do what Beto O'Rourke does and he can tweet out a bunch of links to people who are helping out. I'm sure Ted's already done that. But the, the, the notion that the gravest of all sins is that you took your family to a place that is not Texas in the middle of a bad situation in Texas my favorite part of this is all the journalists in their heated apartments in New York are tweeting angrily about all of this. I can't believe Ted Cruz would do something like this. Oh, yeah. I see you there on the ground handing out food. Really, well, well done there. Really, really well done. Oh, my God. Just the, the dishonesty upon dishonesty upon dishonesty. Let me just respond to the last piece there. The job of journalists is to cover stories. That's their job. The idea that journalists can't cover a crisis because that means they're not on the ground giving out food how ridiculous is that standard the, the the job of people in the news is to cover the news that's their job but let me get to some other quotes here so um he says uh quote whenever there's a crisis if you are seen to be had by the way i would do the ben shapiro voice but I'm, i haven't done it in like three years so <laughs> i feel like it might not come off well but he says whenever there is a crisis if you are seen to be having any sort of good time because our politics are incredibly stupid, this means that you are responsible for the crisis. Okay, let's take this bit, bit by bit here. Um, if you are seen to be having any sort of good time because our politics are incredibly stupid, this means that you are responsible for the crisis. I'm sure Ben Shapiro has never criticized anybody in politics before for having a good time during a crisis. Oh, <laughs> what am I talking about? Five months ago. Ben Shapiro tweeted out, between Pelosi eating ice cream while people head to the bread lines and Pelosi getting a blow dry while business owners are barred from opening, she's definitely got a Marie Antoinette thing going on here. I guess Ben Shapiro is part of the incredibly stupid politics that he loathes so much. Now, the other part of this of the argument that he made, um, this means that you are responsible for the crisis. Nobody is saying Ted Cruz is responsible for the crisis, but he is a senator in the state. Now, Ben also says, do they expect Ted to go down there with a blowtorch and defrost the pipelines? Again, these straw man arguments. That, no, <laughs> but as a senator, he has power and connections to direct aid. He can highlight problems that need federal attention. He can be a senator. The idea, I mean, ima imagine this was better O'Rourke. Imagine. Imagine it was not Ted Cruz. Imagine Beto O'Rourke had won that race. Beto O'Rourke, instead of going and, and helping or, or doing or being a senator, he went to, to Cancun, Mexico with his family. Do you think Ben Shapiro would be, would be on here defending Beto O'Rourke through a rant like this? Come on now. 
And by the way, I criticize Pelosi for doing these things, and I also would obviously criticize Beto O'Rourke for doing what Ted Cruz did if it was Beto. But it's not Beto, it's Ted Cruz. The dishonesty here on display is truly uh, remarkable. Now, Ben also says um, he can do what Beto O'Rourke does and just tweet out links. Look, I, I hate to be in the position to defend Beto O'Rourke because I don't... I, Generally, I don't really like Beto all that much. Was he better than Ted Cruz in that race? Of course. But his run for president, Beto's run for president was just completely ridiculous. That said, he's not just tweeting out links. Beto has a call center and they made over 151,000 calls to senior citizens in Texas. This is, I think this is one night he did this. So more calls than, than, than that by now. But one of our volunteers talked to a man stranded at home without power in Killeen. Hadn't eaten in two days, got him a ride to a warming center and a hot meal. Help us reach more people. Join us tomorrow. He's actually getting help directly to people. If Ted Cruz didn't know what to do, he could do this. But no, chill in Mexico, which, by the way, if his family wants to go to Mexico, go right ahead. Ted Cruz is a senator. Why did he have to go? And he didn't have to go because he came back a day later. <laughs> so showing you his family's there without him. They're doing fine. He didn't have to go to Cancun. Now, another comment Ben makes. Um, AOC is a star because she takes photo shoots outside immigration facilities. Uh, <laughs> I slightly put on the Ben voice there. AOC is a star because she takes photo shoots outside immigration facilities. <laughs> like, what? What does this even come from? It's like when you slow down these comments, you really see how ridiculous they are. Uh, that was what, three years ago? AOC is popular because she ran for Congress without taking any corporate money at all. She took down Joe Crowley, who was next in line behind Nancy Pelosi to be Speaker of the House, took down an establishment Democrat, a corporate Democrat, backed only by the people, running on issues like Medicare for All, a Green New Deal, reaches a, a much younger audience when it comes to politics, getting them involved. The idea that AOC is only popular because she takes photo shoots outside immigration facilities, uh, that wouldn't even be on the list. <laughs> so I don't even know what that has anything to do with anything. And by the way, on the issue of AOC, she's also done more than Ted Cruz. And she's in New York. Alexandria Costa cortez raises $1 million for Texans, plans to travel to Houston. The sheer dishonesty throughout this rant is just incredible.